I know, I know you saw, I know you saw the thumbnail, but I assure you, it's still me. It's, it's still me. I'm okay mentally. I am okay. <laughs> I, I outdid myself with this one. I say that a lot. And if you see my Instagram, I think I outdid myself with the gummy worm girl I did. But this one. I'm gonna need a expensive diamond ring and I invite all of you to my wedding. Is she gonna kill me? Yeah, probably, but is that a problem? <laughs> is... I don't mind. <laughs> okay. I took a lot of time on this. If I upload the actual like speed paint, like from the procreate files you can see my struggle i went through so many different phases because i started drawing like the face like the shape of the face like i always do and then the eye i whipped this eye shape up so fucking quick in the sketch i was like oh oh and then i was stuck with the head and i was like what am i gonna do now and i did so many different things and i ended up with this beautiful woman <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I kind of like, as I drew, I thought of like the plot and like the backstory she has. Like I don't have backstories for a lot of my characters. The only one I have a concrete like backstory for is Tonun, the guy I paint a lot. Yeah. On that topic, I have pre-orders of um, keychains of him open on my Etsy if anyone is interested in a Tonun keychain. I will be making them bigger than the last keychains I made. <laughs> and if anyone is interested, I want to make an acrylic stand of this girl. I need her on my desk. I need her there staring at me. Like she's gonna jump out and kill me any second. Okay? Thank you. But yeah, I was thinking so hard about it. And that's why I'm here. Because I want to talk about it. I love making new OCs, okay? And yes, every now and again, I like to draw and paint creepy things. Is she still cute? Yeah. Is she still hot? Yeah. Is Tonun cute? Um, yeah. But I still like making kind of creepy things. <laughs> if you want to open up your mind to it looking creepy, you know? So, I don't have a name for her. That's... I haven't thought of that. Maybe... No. The first man- the, the first name that came to mind was Mindy. I don't know if that really- Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. But if you have any suggestions, let me know. But... <laughs> but... Um... I was- like I said, I was thinking about it as like the drawing came to be. And... I came up with this idea that this character, she has a cooking show, you know? Probably in a world with a lot of like, human, animal hybrids. I'm not a furry, I promise. <laughs> I promise. And I have not watched Beastars, and I will never, ever watch Beastars. Thank you! But, probably in some kind of anthropomorphic animal world. Um, maybe that's where all my alien girls live too. Or like in that universe somewhere, I don't know. But she has a cooking show, maybe she's like a maid for hire, maybe she has a cooking show but she isn't doing well like financially. That could that could be something. Maybe she is like like I said, a maid for hire or like a babysitter outside of her cooking show. Maybe people don't really tune in. And then things start to happen. I'm thinking in this specific drawing, maybe she's posing for a poster or for the intro, like the end of the intro of a cooking show or something. And if you couldn't, you probably haven't caught on yet because it's still the line art phase, but she has rabies. Yeah. <laughs> she has rabies and she's, she's like trying to control it, trying to suppress it. But 
I don't think that's easy, hon. I'm sorry. I don't think I don't think that's gonna work very well for you. <laughs> I don't know how I came up with this. Like a rabid bunny with a cooking show. <laughs> I have no idea. But that's kind of what I thought about because like her clothes, like I really wanted her to wear like an apron. Uh, this is kind of like an apron dress, I guess. And I really, I, like, I was thinking of giving her like a knife to hold or something. You know? But then I was like, it's creepy enough as it is. Like you don't need to add all these things to make it look even like creepier for no fucking reason. Like a game we know, starting with five and ending with Freddy's. <clears throat> like the first game was good enough, you didn't have to add all these other things and all this plot that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Anyways, that, I was thinking of that, so I just gave her a spatula. <laughs> I gave her a spatula. Um, she's foaming at the mouth, obviously, because she has fucking rabies. Why didn't give her lipstick? I have no idea. You will see later. I did not give her any lipstick. I give everyone like lip shading, but not her for some reason. I just didn't feel the need to. Um. So I'm thinking she has like. She. I'm not thinking she has rabies. Um. And then maybe every night she like unleashes it. I don't know. Like tries to suppress it all day trying to like support herself financially like maybe she's struggling with like a marriage like a failing marriage because she she is dressing like vintage you know so it probably is like a vintage a vintage mar what how can a marriage be vintage an old style marriage <laughs> maybe she's like maybe she has kids oh no <laughs> <laughs> she has like a horde of kids. But she has rabies. <gasps> oh no. What if she gets a little too aggressive with her kids? Oh god. <laughs> Maybe she kills her husband. Maybe she kills her husband. Maybe he says something. And she's like, I've been holding in this shit all day, bruh. Let me... I just have to. Like, maybe she gets a little too agitated with him. Maybe she has an emo daughter and she's like, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you're not gonna shut up, I'm gonna jump onto you and rip out your fucking throat. <laughs> she probably wouldn't say that, but you know. Yeah. May Ooh. Maybe there's like a secluded area with all these like anthropomorphic animals and she gets unleashed into the human side. Oh, oh, whoa, we're getting in deep. <laughs> like disguises herself as a human, but she can't hold back. Nuh uh, because I, oh my god, the symptoms of rabies in humans. You get scared of water, bruh. And like, you can't survive that. Once you have it, you're gone. You're dead. <laughs> There's no hope for you. Like, that is so sad. Oh my god. I think when I drew this, my memories of over... No, not over the garden wall. Uh, Over the hedge, I think. With all the animals. Yeah, sure. <laughs> because what was his name? Sam, Sammy, something like that. The what the fuck are they called? I don't really have to Google search this right now. Seems like I have to, cause I. I can't remember the fucking name. Squirrel. 
the fuck? The squirrel. I never say that word, so of course I would forget about it, but... The squirrel. Like, Sammy or whatever the fuck his name was. He pretends to have rabies. Like, he puts, like, shaving cream on his face and, like, runs after, like, humans pretending <laughs> to be rabid. <laughs> I think that memory, like, subconsciously entered this drawing, you know? Like, that's where I got it from. Probably. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like the simpler the design, like, the easier it will be to draw again, and also, like, the easier it will be to remember. Like, if you saw her, and, like, she becomes, like, a huge character on this channel, like, you would know who that is. You would know everything about her, because she's easy to remember. Rather than a character with, like, a bunch of, like, marks on the skin and, like, super colorful bright hair. Like a Mary Sue, basically. If you don't know what that is, it was, like, really big back in, like, deviant art days of characters just, like, being two main characters, basically. <laughs> Having, like, being super strong, having the best personality, having the best partner in the world, being super OP, and having all these designs slapped onto like a free My Little Pony base, or like a Monster High base, or Winx base, like just, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> don't do that, that's not good character design. I don't know what good character design is, but I'm trying to, I'm tr I'm trying to, to think of like what is good and what is not. But yeah, I just feel like the idea of her having rabies is scarier than me drawing her with like a knife and blood everywhere. It's like, you don't need that. You know, like, just the idea of it. Like, I wasn't gonna talk about it, but like in FNAF 1, you hear about what happened. Kids being stuffed into suits. You don't see it. You're not there when it happens. But just the idea that these animatronics that follow you around actually have kids inside of them. Like dead kids. It's creepy enough. You know? And they're like haunting the place and whatnot. Like we don't need all this other shit around it. Like, just knowing the sinister truth, you know, is enough. You don't need to slap all these things all over it and, like, make it so oversaturated, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was going for. I didn't want it to be too in your face. But if you pick up on it, and if I tell you, then you know. And you can be scared, too. <laughs> She was a lot of fun to draw, and I obviously put a lot more effort and detail into her than I usually would with other drawings. I, I spent a lot of time on this one. Well, not too long, but the sketching part took a long time, like, coming up with this idea. Like I said, she kind of just evolved from a head, and then I tried to find, like, a pose I wanted, and then it slowly came together, and I was like, rabies! Because I already made the face, and then I decided to make like one dilated pupil, and I was like, maybe I should make her something creepy. So I did, because <laughs> you know, rabies is still a very like it still exists, <laughs> you know. I feel like just I'm just dancing around the same topic this entire time. I'm not gonna make a video about it, so I'm just gonna say it here. I fucking hate Spotify. I fucking hate it. Cause, like, what I listen to affects my drawings a lot. So I wanted to make something, like, creepy, kind of, for, like, a TikTok audio that I wanna use. So, I went into this with that mindset. Like, I originally made a different sketch, but I was like, this fucking sucks. So, like I said, whipped up ahead and blah 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 everything here so I was listening to music like that 
And I have a lot that I wanted to listen to on my Spotify. I used to have three months free, like a free trial, but then it ended like a month ago. Like I was not a Spotify girly, but now without it, I'm like, damn it. I don't have money for a fucking Spotify subscription, dude. But what I'm saying is that they make these apps so insufferable. So you have to spend money on it. Like, ads every 15 minutes. You can't skip more than six times an hour. You can't play things in order. Why not? <laughs> it, was, it wasn't like this. It was ads every 30 minutes. I don't know about skipping or shuffle like that, but at least there weren't as many ads. And I hate artists who have to use their fucking s new songs for ads. Like, that just makes me not want to listen to it. I'm here to listen to my music, not your shitty ass song that you paid money to have it, like, for 30 seconds every 15 goddamn minutes. I'm over it, and I'm never gonna listen to it. I'm sorry, but your song fucking sucks. And if I have to hear it another fucking time <laughs> you know like how stupid can you be i know you want to get your song out there but like that is not the way to do it i'm gonna get tired of it and i already am i'm not gonna name any because i can't remember any but maybe you get the same ads as me but it's like ugh. no no <laughs> and the same with youtube jesus fuck <laughs> 15 and 20 second unskippable ads and there's like two and three of them I've seen people meme it, but it's like it's gonna end up being like two hour ads unskippable like a whole movie before you can like watch what you want to watch, you know Jesus I hate ads so much like they pop up or like if I got get an ad on one video and I I'm like, oh, okay, the video was almost over anyway, so I'll just click on a new one More ads or Right after I skip one like if my Mac has been off for a while and I like skip ads and then start the video plays for like two seconds boom three like two more ads. I Just started it please oh my god and the fucking promotional content in every video. <gasps> I'm tired of Arab. It doesn't fucking work and it tastes like shit. And BetterHelp is sketchy as fuck. And I think they're Zionists. I don't quote me on that, but I heard a guy talk about it. I don't know. Maybe just back in the day, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But they're still sketchy as fuck. They like send your personal information between each other. Like, nothing is confidential. They're lying to you. Ugh. Like, I can't. These ads. Ugh. <laughs> Not to mention channels that have like sex toy ads. Like, they're kids here, bruh. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> Ugh. Like, I get it. You need your money. But, oh my god, I'm tired of it. Like, they're like, okay, let's get into it. And I was like, before we get into it, a word from our sponsor. Shut up. Shut up. Sometimes I just click off the video because I'm like, I'm not watching you if you're going to sit there for three minutes first and just tell me about this shit. No, no, I don't want your food subscription box. I don't want a bottle that doesn't work, okay? And I don't want an online therapist that's gonna s steal and leak my information, all right? I don't, I don't want it. I don't want it. And then every other goddamn website with their cookies and like if you don't click accept cookies you can't do anything on it first or like reddit online and quora dude oh my fucking god i click on something that i want to read and then i scroll down and it's like oh if you want to continue reading log in bruh 
I just wanted to know how to wash my tattoo, okay? Shut up. Ugh. Like, the internet is just becoming so fucking... And, like, TikTok now. We don't have TikTok shop here in Norway. Thank fucking God. Thank God. But... Like... I've heard that every, like, other video on the For You page is just ads for things in the TikTok shop. Like, you can't even use any app anymore. Pinterest, too? Every other pin is an ad. Like, oh my god, can you just let me look at outfit ideas and wigs? Please. I just wanted to draw. But no, no, I have to watch these insufferable goddamn ads. And another thing that I hate, I know it's like a design choice, like it's supposed to make it look better for some reason, but the fucking YouTube intro thing, I just want to click on YouTube and search for one thing really quick, my hands are freezing off, but no, I have to watch this like five second intro first. I don't want to. We don't need the fucking YouTube logo. I know what I clicked on, okay? And spam emails from every business is like, we click on a new website you haven't been on before and it's like, enter your email and spin the wheel for a discount. And then they just send you like, oh, you forgot something in your cart. Ooh, we saved it for you. Oh, you only have 24 hours left or the item is gone. Shut up. If I really wanted it, I would have bought it already. Fuck, you know. I can't. I can't. It's insane. Like. The thing about ads is I'm so tired of them that if they show up, I will do everything in my power to avoid whatever business, whatever song, whatever program, whatever app it is. Like on PixArt. Where I used to like add backgrounds and stuff to my pictures or drawings, whatever, stickers, things like that. You add one sticker, ooh, an ad. You wanna save your picture? No, you gotta watch an ad first. Oh, you wanna edit a new picture? An ad. I'm never gonna listen to a song, I'm never gonna download and play the game, and I'm never gonna check out your shitty ass business. Okay, leave me alone and let me do what I need to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know that's not what I was here talking about, but I hope you love this character as much as I do. I love her so much. Sure, she has murderous intent, but I don't care. She's still pretty and I want her hand in marriage. Thank you. Now I've like burnt all my creativity up like now I don't know what to do anymore I don't know what to draw at all oh I forgot to say I don't think anyone's here anymore though cuz I talk way too much but I have a patreon now oh my god I have a patreon it's I put it up for two dollars a month for like paying customers or like members whatever but I don't know what to post on there I have no idea, I don't know if anyone even wants to hear more of my voice than they have to, or see more of my shit than they need to. Um, <laughs> but if you have any ideas, and I also have a, like some drawings that I don't think I would post anywhere else. Or maybe I will make drawings that I won't post anywhere else. Um, but it would be really fun. I have posted a poll on there for like everyone to see, not just paying people, but like everyone. Um, of like what you would want to see from me. Uh, I don't know if I'll use it, but I was like, let me just make one and see what happens. Like, it's good to have one in case, you know? So, yeah. I think that was it. I don't, I don't think I have anything else to say right now on my noggin. But I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, uh, that you love her as much as I do. If you have any name suggestions, please let me know. Because barely any of my characters have names. And I give them names and I forget about them. Okay, I'm, yeah. 
<lacht> ja, okay, bye.